Hello, it's Heather and Phil, and we are at the Curtin Pole Road area of the Tennessee River Park. There is a pretty good sized pond here, and we think there are some migratory ducks here. Now, we've been all over the place looking for American white pelicans and didn't find them. And then we decided to uh, stop by here on our way to downtown. And what do you know? I believe there are some migratory ducks. So we're going to see what we can find and see if we can make some pictures. We're both using the R7 and the 100 to 500 this morning. It's ringneck ducks that we're seeing a pretty good sized flock, 10 or 15 of them. Uh, beautiful, beautiful ducks. And of course, they like to stay on the far side of the pond away from the people. But I used this, I found one pretty far down uh, the walkway that was pretty close to the handrail and I just kind of snuck up behind the handrail and used it as a blind and got some a little bit closer photos of one male. Here are the ring neck duck photographs and I only got one that I was happy with. They were just kind of swimming around and I got bored with them pretty quick but Heather made quite a few really nice ring neck duck photographs and here are her photographs. And on this one, you can see its signature ring neck, just a slightly different color of the feathers right at the base of the head and in the neck area. And quite often when you make photographs of a ring neck duck, you can't even see that color difference. For example, here's another with this beautiful reflection shot that Heather made. And you can't really see the ring around the neck. But in this shot, you can see See how it's not black in that one area. It's kind of almost brownish. Sometimes it looks purple as well. And here's another example of another one of Heather's great ring neck duck photographs. And you can see the ring around the neck. I also made a quick video clip of the ring neck ducks as they were swimming around in the Curtin Pole Road pond area. There's a great blue heron fishing right down there. Here's a couple of great blue heron photographs that Heather and I made. We'll start with Heather's and you can see her name at the bottom right. And it's the same bird, but in very different locations. Heather and I kind of split up there at Curtin Pole Road for a little while. And this photograph of mine may be one of my favorite great blue heron photographs I've ever made. I just like the natural setting. We started to get bored with the ducks and I saw a ruby crowned kinglet, which is our favorite little tiny bird and it was hanging around in these privet hedge here. And these are the very same privet hedge that one time years ago, I took a picture of a cedar waxwing feeding on the berries in this privet hedge. And some college professor from somewhere asked me if, I, if he could use the picture in one of his classes demonstrating a native species eating a invasive species of plant. But anyway, uh, we worked on the uh, ruby crown kinglet for a while and I think we both got some shots really low light. Uh, I think Heather, uh, the, it flew over here to this side, a little bit better light over here and uh, Heather got a really good shot. I didn't, I was too slow. But uh, anyway, let's look at some ruby crown kinglet pictures from Curtin Pole Road. We actually were there to photograph the ducks, but I think our favorite photography of the morning was of this amazingly cute little ruby crowned kinglet. These photos, look at that little bird and how cute it is. These first three are my photos of the ruby crowned kinglet, and we were just able to catch this playful little bird in a lot of really cute poses, and we really enjoyed making these photographs of the ruby crowned kinglet. And Heather has four shots that she captured of the ruby crown kinglet and i don't know if you looked at the shutter speed but my shots were really low shutter speed and heather is uh, quite a bit faster with one four hundredth of a second on this particular shot and you can see 8000 iso but we used topaz denoise ai 10,000 iso on this one and heather was able to clean these shots up really well you can't even tell hardly that they are extremely high iso shots and this is the shot where the bird was on the other side and the ISO is quite a bit lower on this cute kinglet photograph. We saw a yellow rump warbler right over here. I was the only one to get a photograph of the cute little yellow rumped warbler. And this warbler is a common warbler that we see quite a bit in the winter months here in the Chattanooga area. Okay, that's gonna do it for us this morning here at the Tennessee River Park Curtain Pole Road area. We hope you enjoyed our ducks 
and we hope to see you in the next one. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and um, that seems like a Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>